Are you recording? Yeah. I yeah. am starting to record now. So welcome everybody. So this is the <clears throat> we're talking about the endocrine system um, in relation to the digestive system. And um, so let's start by just doing a short presence meditation. So take a deep breath in, everybody. Breathe in through your nose. And let it all go. Breathe in again, slowly and deeply through your nose. Inflate your whole body and when you can breathe in no more, then you can start to breathe out slowly. And then one more time, breathe in slowly through your nose. And let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you to so respect your body to give yourself a, um, just a few more deep breaths because when we elongate our breath we actually signal to our body that we're in a safe space and that it's okay to relax now. So use your own breath to relax your whole body. As you breathe in, allow your whole body to just inflate, move out as you breathe in. And when you breathe out, Allow your whole body to come back in again. And use this rhythmic stretching and coming back in to massage your body internally, which will further pr promote relaxation, not just your mindset, but also all your internal organs, you are just gently massaging them. Just by breathing deeply in and out. And as you continue to breathe in and out, as you breathe in, Set the intention that you want to bring back all of your energy. All the energy that you have been sending out to other people, looking outward. In this moment, as you breathe in, bring them all back in. You want all of your energy back to yourself. This is your time. This is time that you are spending with all of you. So bring back all of your attention, all of your intention, all of your inner energy. Bring it all back within yourself. Be absolutely selfish. This is time for you to connect with all of you. And just feel what that feels like.
and you may feel more solid, more substantial. You may feel that there is an energy right in the middle of your head that is passing through all of your body. It's always there, just that most of the time you don't notice it. But now that you put your attention on yourself again, you notice So when you have all of your attention, intention, and energy back to yourself, then you can take a deep breath in and come all the way back into the room. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank so, you. So, <clears throat> welcome. So we talked a little bit about the endocrine system and the adrenal and then the adrenals. And um, why I picked the adrenals because we live in a very stressed environment. Um, there are different stresses, even though you may not be feeling it. You, you may not be, you know, you may not have a nine to five job you may not have a lot of things going on in your life. And if that's the case, then you are luckier than a lot of people because that there are a lot of people that has to have a job and they have to juggle their job and family and all of that, especially in December. We have a lot of um, celebrations coming up, which um, actually can be stressful too when you're around people that um, <clears throat> you may not always be getting along with and all of a sudden you're thrown together <laughs> because we, we are celebrating. So that can be a source of stress. So there are many stresses in our lives and um, our body um, is, is wired, um, or I should say our body innately know how to support us when we are stressed. When we are stressed, all of our um, energy is to is kind of diverted to a few areas so that we can handle the stress. So you, stress, like in the olden days, I um, mean, long, long time ago, when the, the only stress is if you run into a tiger and the tiger is, is hungry, then yeah, there, there is stress. You want to either fight the tiger off or you want to outrun the tigers. So that is kind of the, the, the stress in the olden days. So our, um, because human beings have been living on earth for a long time. So our body is, is kind of geared up for that. So when you are trying to run or have town, trying to handle a tiger or like metaphorically a tiger, which the tiger could be um, your boss, your mother-in-law or whomever it is, what, or whatever it is that you feel um, that you, you have to stress, then that would be your, what your body does is it diverts all the energy because in your body, you, you, um, you do a lot of things. You you eat, you sleep, you procreate, you um, breathe. So all of these these things, your body has a system to deal with it. And but when you're in stress, though, all of the the non essential things. For example, procreation. When you're in fight or flight mode, you don't have time for that. So that's shut down. So digestion. 
when you are fighting a tiger, you don't need to digest. You need to run away. <laughs> so digestion is shut down. And um, breathing, yes, you need to breathe because you need all the oxygen to, to be pumped into your, your ha hands and your feet so that you can run away or you can fight. So those, those are more e essential organs, um, protecting the heart and also protecting your mind because your mind would be able to um, show you which direction to run or how, can, how you can beat off the tiger. So anything that is essential, all of your body's um, energy would be pulled to those, focused into those. And the rest, things like digestion, those things would be um, kind of not not very high on the list of priority, which is fine if it only if if you only have to deal with a tiger like one day or even two hours, that's fine. Your body would recover after a couple of hours. But if you are stressed, if you live in a stress environment and it's sustained for a long period of time, and imagine you can't digest properly for a long period of time. If you don't digest, then how is your body going to um, receive proper nutrition and all of those that, that comes with what the digestion is supposed to do for you? It becomes a chronic issue and we don't even notice it um, because we are so stressed that we, yes, we still eat. We, we still have find time to eat. Um, because modern day stress is very different from caveman stress. Modern people's stress is not something that we can say, okay, this like work is stress or like this person is stress. It's very subtle. It's a lot more subtle, especially um, we have so many different um I would say commercials, TV programming that like you may be completely relaxed, but you are watching a television show that is, you know, full of action and twists and turns. So you you don't even realize that you are actually stressing yourself because <laughs> if you are too much into the, the 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 programming, you don't realize, or at least your body does not compute that oh this is just entertainment because you're you actually feel stressed if you if you catch yourself when you're watching a very gripping drama do you tense your shoulder do you do you um, breathe normally or not so if you don't breathe normally and if you tense your body then that is a signal to your body that you're under stress so how often are you under do you put yourself under stress and 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 it doesn't have to be that it could be just a thought a thought that that um let's say oh if i eat this pastry or if i eat this food then um i'm going to be fat i'm going to get fat or i'm going to um stress out my my um pancreas Thoughts, thoughts actually can stress us. We don't even have to be running. We don't even have to actually have any real threat. Just thinking of a uh, um, stressful situation. If you watch television and they're talking about, you know, possibility of World War Three or possibility that, you know, the this financial system is going to crash, that is going to crash, that is stress. You don't notice it because you, your mind is so um, conditioned already. You think that this is normal, but your body, no, it's stress for your body because your body is responsible for your survival. So when it, um, when it, is conscious and when your body is conscious of things that um like your conscious mind may not think is is here yet but your body is already stressed so it's actually not too hard as um 
living in the modern society to put ourselves under constant stress. Like just tick tick myself. Um, like I for the longest time, I have no idea that I, I was under stress. And I wonder how come my my shoulder is uh, I remember uh, like a couple years ago my my right shoulder. Um actually my right shoulder had been out for a long time until fairly recently. And I wonder how come, how come, how come my shoulder is so my sh my my shoulder is um muscle is so tense. And then I start to become more observant, to become more um the observer to 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 find out why am I stressed? And I realized that I just just sitting in front of the computer that is stress. Just um, you know, there's a lot of situation that I didn't even know how much stress I put myself in. And when I realized it, I'll, it it becomes um, you know, oh, okay, now that I realize it, um, the it's actually a lot easier when you realize you put yourself in stress mode. Um, because if you don't realize it, then there's nothing you can do. And now when I sit in front of the, the computer, I would always, always um remind myself that you know every at least 45 minutes, maybe an hour, I need to get up, stretch my legs, do some um stretching exercises, go get some water, go do something, talk to my brother or talk to some other people, do something else just to, to add an interrupt, to interrupt that, that stress that I put on myself. So things like that. And I invite all of you to do that as well, is to just pay more attention, especially if you feel pain in your body, is to actually... Um, observe yourself when you um whenever you are conscious of any pain in your body then start to pay attention so when what activities what are you doing when you feel that pain and then start to um do something else to break up that scenario break break that pattern that is Usually when you put yourself under stress, when thoughts, usually your thoughts, um, emotional thoughts, um, those things can put stress in yourself. So that's um, that's kind of my, my, my spiel on how come when we are stressed, the, the digestion start to go out. So because digestion, when you are di digesting, your di digestion is actually, when you're under stress, your digestion becomes lower in terms of importance. So the more you are able to release stress, whether it is physical stress, emotional stress, whether the stress is um, real or imagined, is to just observe what puts you in stress and to consciously break up those. Whether it is, a, if it is emotional, then do some emotional release. And if it is physical, do some exercise, do some stretching, go for a walk, um, go, to, go to the park or wherever it is that you feel is most calming for you. So before I go any further, any questions, comments before I continue? No. All clear. Okay, good. So now what we can do. So first thing um, I want to do is remember I like um, pretty much every time I 
maybe not all every time, but you know, a couple of times I actually, um, I would say walked all of you through the open how to open the four diaphragms. I want to do it one more time because this is something that um, anyone can do. On you can do this on your own, and just by opening up these four diaphragms that's within your body you already um, start to allow your body's energy to move freely so that you, you get yourself out of um, the situation where energy is stuck at a certain place. Um, so there, to do the four diaphragms, there are four, there are a couple of things. First is um, know where the diaphragms are. So I know I haven't been very clear on the diaphragms until now, but this time I actually, um, yeah, I am, I am clear about where each of the diaphragms now. So, um, and I want you to all to to remember one thing is, um, yeah, we are we are a body, but we are also energy as well, and within energy, intention is important so um, even if you don't remember things precisely when you set the intention then um, um, the energy field itself would uh, forgive a lot of things that you may have technically um, done wrong so so you don't have to remember all of it but you have to the first thing is to set that intention, is to open the intention, is to open four diaphragms. And these are not physical diaphragms. Well, one of them is a physical diaphragm, but the others are more functional diaphragms in that they are, um, they function like a diaphragm. What the diaphragm does is it actually like the our the primary diaphragm is between the the heart and the stomach, and there is actually a physical barrier that we call diaphragm. And what it does is, when we breathe in, then the um, the, the lungs would expand, and it would um kind of allow the the diaphragm to be um, pressed down a little bit. In our stomach area, and this, and then as we breathe out, the diaphragm comes back up, and this gentle um, contraction and expansion actually is our um, body's way of moving energy in the core of our body. The core of our body being the the, the heart and the um, stomach area, and gently massaging those organs around there, including the heart, because as the, the, the diaphragm expand back up, it actually very gently massage the, the heart as well. So that is um, a physical diaphragm that has the, that effect. And the other places, the, the first diaphragm is between the occiput and the atlas. So where's the occiput? The occiput is the bottom part of the back of your skull. And the atlas is really the start of your spine. So the, it's called the atlas because it is the top where you where the it is connected to the back of the skull. So that's why it's called the atlas bone. So that that there is a functional diaphragm there. It's functional because as we shift, as we um, allow that those two um, allow the, the, the atlas and the occiput to be able to just um, gently massage each other when if that area, those two bones are not locked in. Sometimes it's hard to actually even move your head because your neck is so stiff and everything is locked in, then you know you're in trouble. But when you start to open up that first diaphragm, which is the occiput and the, the, and the atlas bone, 
So that's the first diaphragm. So let's all set the intention that that's what we want to do now, is to open up that first diaphragm. And when we do that, we also do the eye pattern. The eye pattern, eyes, our eyes, our eye muscle is actually connected to nervous system. So as we move our eyes, we actually are sending signals into our nervous system and we get signals from there too. So first is look at the, the okay, this is my right hand. So your right hand would be the opposite side. So upper hand, upper right hand corner. So have your eyes look up without moving your head. And your head, allow your head to just um, be aligned so, so that your spine is kind of aligned. And when you align your spine, then your body does not have to work so hard. So. So have your eyes move to the right hand upper corner. And I just want you all to know that I am doing it and I am the proxy for all of you. So if you like to, then follow along. If not, that's okay. Know that you are, we are all energetically entangled. So what I do, you would be able to feel as well. And actually, we are staying here in this eye position in the upper right-hand corner for a little bit because it is. I am actually sensing that your nervous system is actually processing something here. So just let's give that a little bit of time before we move on. Going to just breathe. Remember, every time you breathe, you're massaging your internal organs gently. So breathing is good. It is still going. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I can actually feel the release now. Okay, now we can do what we do next is the eyes move down, still staying on the right side. So down on the right. And then there is another release. I can feel energy. Yeah, not as much as in the upper right hand, but yeah, okay. So we can move now this time from this, you move all the way up to the left upper hand corner. And that usually is a doozy. <laughs> So upper left hand corner. And I actually sense emotions coming up now. So it's an emotional increase or an emotional release, I should say. Frustration, because what I'm is the word that comes to mind. It's not so much sadness, more frustration. Okay, 
Now we can go down on the left side. So now it's the lower left hand corner. Conspiracies. A lot of heavy energy here. So let's allow these heavy energies to release. A little bit before we continue. Okay, I'm giving the go ahead. So now we go from the left lower hand corner back up to the right upper corner. And we tap that in. Okay, so that's the first diaphragm, opening up the first diaphragm. And then the second diaphragm is where the C7, which is cervical um, seven, and T1, thoracic one. So if you feel the back of your neck, there's a bulge. That's the C7. There's a bone that actually sticks out. You can feel it a little bit bumpy there. That's C7. Right underneath that is T1. So that's where the second diaphragm is. So it usually is right around the neck area. That's, that's the second diaphragm. So now set the intention to, let's set the intention to open up that, di that diaphragm, the second diaphragm. And then we do the same thing as eyes up to the right hand corner. Stay here for a little bit. And now let's go down on the right to the lower right hand corner. And stay here for a bit. It's a lot of conversation going on here. Remember, keep breathing as deeply as you possibly can. So you can massage your internal body lovingly. <laughs> this is a doozy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is still going strong. There's a lot of emotions here, too. Okay. It's calming down a little bit. So now let's go from the right lower corner all the way up to the left upper corner. That's so very emotional today. here process some before we move on
all sorts of emotions, from sadness to anger. There's a range of emotions. Okay, coming down now. Good. So now let's go down from the left upper corner down to the left lower corner. Luckish energy that's being released. Okay, coming down a little bit more. So let's go from the lower left hand back up to the upper right hand. And that is the second diaphragm. The third diaphragm is our primary diaphragm. So in between our, so underneath our heart and just above our stomach, liver, and pancreas, there is this, that's the primary diaphragm. And this diaphragm is linked to our psoas muscle, linked to our hip joint and all of that. So the major diaphragm. So set the intention that you want to open up this diaphragm. And once you set the intention, let's do this. Eyes up to the right upper hand corner. And just take a deep breath in and allow whatever message that is within your nervous system to just work itself out. So I'm actually hearing minerals, have to balance minerals. So mineral deficiency. And this is for everybody. So later on, we're going to do something about that. Because as we, um, when we stress, we used up a lot of minerals, especially calcium and magnesium, those, because a lot of those minerals are being used to support the fight or flight response when we are in stress. Coming down, so now let's go from the upper right-hand corner down to the lower right-hand corner.
coming down. So from lower right hand, go all the way to upper left hand side. And it is. Busy. <laughs> it is kind of busy. Yes, because we are doing digestion. So we are doing the prep work for digestion, handling digestion. So the body, our bodies already know this. So. Yeah, trying to release. <laughs> no, okay. Now the next layer comes up. First, at first, when when we get up to the uh, the upper left hand corner, I was feeling like a, a little man manic. It's like a lot of nervous energy. And then now after the nervous energy, now it's emotional energy coming up. Ooh. Wow. Still coming. The emotions start to actually shift. Keep breathing in deeply and then releasing. Coming down a little. Okay, and we can go down on the left. Now let's go all the way back up to the upper right-hand corner. Third diaphragm open. And the last one, the fourth one, is your pelvic diaphragm. So it is the, the uh, functional diaphragm is like in where your pelvis is interacting with all of your reproductive organs and also the um, intestines, small intestines, all of those things. So that pelvic. So set that intention to open up the pelvic diaphragm and then eyes up to the right. Shock. Shock in the system. I mean, in so 
it's um I guess we are all entangled together in this pattern. So within the pattern, there is a shock in the system. That's what I'm getting. Now down on the right, so lower right-hand corner. From lower right hand corner all the way up to the left upper. I'm releasing a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't usually, like when I'm doing this on myself, I don't release as much, but. Yeah, it's calming down a little. We are coming down and now we move on. Let's go down on the left. Emotions coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can go all the way back up to the right upper hand corner and tap all of that in. So, so that is the four diaphragm um, method. So I hope you all remember that, how to do that. So whenever you feel a little stressed or you feel a little short of breath, then you can do that. Just um, just feel the difference. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, go ahead. So, said four diaphragm, occipital, uh, seven water brain, uh, main diaphragm, <clears throat> and there is a pelvis. Um, they all get clogged from the stress. Yeah. So how often we have to open them? As often as you feel the need to. I don't how, know your life, how, so... How do you feel that you need to? So what do you feel? Now? Yeah. How do you feel now? Lightheaded. <clears throat> lightheaded okay so what do you mean by lightheaded like a little bit dizzy a little bit dizzy okay i guess i'm the one with the strong reaction <laughs> because i'm like rolling uh, <laughs> You're a lot. 
all the way. <laughs> ah. so, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Um, all right. So let me just go back to Tatiana. Um, how, how is your, so Sunday you, you have, you, you, um, so how are you feeling today at the, the uh, in the morning? Much better, much better. My, um, my cold, I think it's, it's gone. Maybe just a little bit here and there. Not much okay. So um I want you to now just sit with the intention that you uh, you want your spine to be in a way that it supports supports you. And take a deep breath in and how do you feel now? Good, thank you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's gone. Thank you. So yeah, it's um whenever you because I, I notice when you sit, you always have your head forward. That kind uh -huh. of okay. puts, puts your um, spine out of alignment. And um, yeah, that. And when you have so much, because when we open up the four diaphragms, the energy within you actually runs much better. So, but when you shift your alignment, then um, you may feel it as being a lightheadedness because energy is trying to move out, but it yeah, because of the alignment of your neck, it couldn't. So, um, pay more attention to your your own um, body position because how you put your body, um, it. It affects the rest. I agree. Thank you. Okay. Um, what I feel, I, I can share what I feel when I open up the four diaphragm, is that all of a sudden I feel connected to my goodness. And um, yeah. Roxana, mute yourself. Thank you. So, Sorry, I didn't uh, hear that. When you you feel connected to yourself, I feel connected, connected to... to myself. Oh, okay. Thank you. Like all of a sudden, I just feel zenned out. Like I like like when I am in meditation. Like I feel that this peace and calm. And right. maybe just me. So you will have to. And you open that um, the diaphragm. You feel in deep meditation. Yeah. Okay. I guess I need that connect with myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's the first thing. And the and next I, thing. Sure, go ahead. Can I ask something? Uh, you said uh, to do it like uh, whenever you're short of breath also. So you still have to do all four? Um, the most, I, I would say, 
when you're short of breath, yeah, I I would do all, all four as well. Okay. Because like, yes, you may be able to get away with just doing the, the diaphragm because the diaphragm is connected to a lot of um, a parts of your body. However, um, the all the others would help as well. Because when you open up all those four diaphragms, it actually resets your body. Mm. But uh, you can at least feel like things moving and all. We don't feel that. Like, so we just hold it for a few minutes, uh, each position. Um. When you do the eye movement, do you feel anything? Uh, yeah, I, I put the intention, like where you're saying, to focus on that diaphragm. I don't know how long to do. You don't feel anything? Yeah. Well, um, like I feel it good after. You when feel you do what? It. When you do it with us, I feel like it's calmed down. Like, mm -hmm. That's what I mean. But like for myself, I don't know whether it is or not. Um, you need to do that for yourself because yeah. I am not special. So, <laughs> um, because you have to trust yourself too. This is oh. a, a a conversation that you have with your body. Okay. Yeah, so it's a conversation that you have with your body. And so you, you, you tell your body, you this is what you want. You know, the first one, the occiput and the atlas, that first diaphragm. You, so it's it will be helpful if you touch it so oh, okay. that, you know, um, touch it and then set the intention. Like set the intention would be enough. But if you touch it, if you're... Or yeah. if you're more, um, I would say, body person, some some people, they need to touch things. So you yeah. know yourself. So if you're one of those, then if you touch it, it actually would really be more of a conversation with your body. But okay. for, with me, usually, if I just intend it, I like it, it would be good enough for my body because I've been communicating with my body for a long time. Yeah. So you have to, and, and when you do the C7, then you just touch there. And then diaphragm, you just touch right under, in, in between. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So you just touch, touch that. You don't, um, you don't actually have to touch a physical diaphragm, but just put it and where then, yeah. it more or less is. Then you are communicating with your body. And the eye movement is actually it um, your eyes um, your eyes nervous system is connected to the rest of the your your nervous system. So when you move your eyes, it actually sets off. And the uh, eye movement it has to be done with open eyes or you can close them. Have to what? Sorry, I didn't uh, hear. The that. eyes have to be open or closed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It can be open or it can be closed. It's just the position, the positions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's all there. Okay. Thank you for your question. Um, question be. here. Um, yeah. E each one of those positions, when you you look up, um, do they connect to? Uh, to what part of the nervous system? Like, do we know or do we just know that it's part of the nervous system? It depends on which diaphragm you're doing. So mm. different diaphragms would be connecting to different parts of the nervous system. Mm. There is so. something called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, that they say that when you look to up to your left, you're recalling visual memory. When you look up yeah, to I the right, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know that. 
Yeah. Is that, that, does that have anything what to do with it or is it just different? It's a, it's a different language. Mm. It's a different language. Okay. Does it have any um, um, linkage? Let's see. No, well, okay. I don't know. Okay. The, the answer is I don't know. It may, it may not. Um, the this 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 language is called MED, so Master Energy Dynamics. So this this is a a language that you communicate with your body. So mm -hmm. there are um, it's, it's created by totally different kind of person. However, um, Richard Bartlett is pretty good with NLP too. So. There may right. have been some overlap. So okay. the person who created this is, is Richard Bartlett. So so I know Richard Bartlett is a pretty good NLP as well. Isn't he the, the one who invented it or came up with it? There's some Richard. I don't oh, remember. Richard Bandler. That's, Bandler, that's okay. NLP, Bandler. So <laughs> Bartlett is totally different person. So Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, same Richard, but <laughs> different Richard as well. Okay. So MED stands for, what was it? Master Energy Dynamics. Master Energy Dynamics, okay. Yep. Now if, if um, you know, um, because of the pain, I feel a lot of stress and maybe, Maybe I'm not doing too right, doing it right or relying too much on you. I didn't feel reduction in pain or reduction in my reaction to pain. So um, maybe I should do it on my own and really connect to my body. That so would be, yeah, give that a try. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, that's why I go through it this time. Um, like really thoroughly so because you know, as much as like uh roxana was saying that you tell us that pay attention there but in a way i don't know maybe i stay in my head i i don't feel anything i mean um yeah we stay in our head a lot however yeah. this this is really the transition to um feel the body to feel the body because the right. body needs to be felt right yeah and we are actually uh, according to jason estes space we are we are going through um space circuits space circuit is about experience so it's about feeling things so thank you Feel the body. Be with the body. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I know it's not easy when you're in pain. It's um, right. it it is a it is a challenge. It's However, a stress. <laughs> it's stressful. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I know it's a stress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like the the last couple of days, I've I've been feeling pain too. Because uh, I know I know this this morning when I started to come down here, because now um this the con this condo that I'm in, the it has um two flights of stairs. Uh, so it I have to to use the stairs, and I'm not quite used to it. <laughs> so this morning I feel the pain. And, um, but you know, I was just doing some, I was just moving my head along. And I remember Tatiana um, teaching me about, you know, doing the, the head. And when I moved my head, my, and I did some um, movement of my hips too. So it's kind of 
after I've done that, though, I do felt that, you know, my knees actually felt much better. So I think it's because of the um, lack of energy flow. That's why my knees are feeling it. Usually so, when when you, your knees are in pain, um, it's a sign of stress. So. Yep. So how do we move our neck? Like Tatiana showed you that, um, because yeah, I mean, if you sit too long or you don't move, then things get tight. So how do we do the neck? Just circle? <laughs> or... Just do uh, exercise every single day, move it different directions. Okay. Up and down, diagonally. Yeah. From one yeah. shoulder to the other. Yeah. Um, Tatiana teaches a very good class. So um, email Tatiana. And uh, oh. yeah, he, she, like the, the face, facial massage, fantastic. Thank you, Vini. <laughs> no, I am not just saying this to to kiss up to you, I, I am a lazy person. <laughs> if I weren't so lazy, I would come. <laughs> I do I do notice that when I, um, the, the few times that I've attended the sessions with Tatiana, yeah, I didn't like it at the time when I was doing it, but afterwards, yeah, my body really um, feels much better. Highly recommend Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you, Vini. Thank you so much. Well, maybe send it to the list. Send your information to the list. Yep, send your information and to me yeah. and I'll just give it uh, okay. to the rest. You can join on, on Monday at 6.45 and try it first time and see okay. if you like it. I'm going to put in the chat my email, so send me your email, okay. and I will send you invitation so you can try first time. Mm. Okay, thank you. Very good. Very sure. good. Yeah, June starting with me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thank okay. you, June. <laughs> okay, enough, enough uh, diversion. Let's get back to digestion. All right, so... Um, let's wake up the digestion first. So we are going to so set the intention that we want to bring the dig our digestive system online. Okay, so set that intention, everybody. And we are going to do that. So where is the digestive system? Okay. So I'm going to do that for everybody. Digestive system. I go through the eye pattern as well. So upper right hand corner. Oosh. Okay. So what this does is it brings the digestive system online. so that we can have a conversation with a digestion. And then, yeah, I can go now. Okay, go forward. Now, down on the right side. So they're telling me that hormone, no, hormones are out. Gonna do. Okay, minerals, hormones. So those are the two things that we have to look into after we open up the digestive system. Okay, now go from right lower all the way up to the left upper.
down on the left. Go back up to the right upper corner. Okay, so now let's scan. So digestion, there are three things about digestion. We either digest fat, protein, or carbohydrates. So let's test which one, like I'm, I'm going to do all three of them, but maybe not all three tonight. So I'll see which one we should go with first. Okay, protein digestion. Okay, so stomach. So protein digestion is stomach. So we'll be working on the stomach. So stomach, what needs to be done first? Is it function, structure, or chemistry? Okay, chemistry. Chemistry. Let's let's do chemistry. So what is chemistry? Let's go to look at some chemistry patterns. Um Chemistry patterns. Okay, well, let's do this one. Um, so the help model module came in. And that one is for emotions. And then, um, so I'm going to call out a series of different organs. And so we are going to do that. So chemistry, so chemistry, blood sugar, Liver protein metabolism. Okay, so gallbladder, set that in. Liver, stomach, duodenum, pancreas, small intestine. How many patterns? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nineteen patterns. So let's run that. So eyes up to the right. Now remember to breathe in deeply so that you can massage your stomach and your heart. Because I think heart is coming in as well. Coming in meaning it's, um, it's part of the pattern that we are processing through now. Okay. 
just a lot of emotional conversations happening. And it is a lot of it is family dynamics related. Just breathe through it. Down under all. I can feel my stomach churning. I don't know about you guys. Up to the left. Down on the left. To the right. So. Okay, so bringing in the module, systems physical reset.
Okay. How's everybody doing? We are deep into that pattern. I felt how energy was moving. It's like waves. Mm -hmm. Do the next next sequence. The next one is chemistry as well. So gastrin chemistry. Stomach. And Lipilat, C9, D3, that's the diaphragm. Well, you guys are in the pattern. I'm going to um, put in some modules. We're and going we... again to the pattern, eye pattern? Um, no. It's already done. I, I did it for you guys already. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's... Um, so I mentioned before we need um, <clears throat> minerals. So which one? Okay, mineral matrix. Mineral matrix module. Okay. okay. And then hormones. Let's see which one is going to be for the hormones.
This module I want to bring in is the Catholic sex guilt module. It's a lot of Nutrition Master Harmonic as well. Yeah. It comes into the pelvic area. It's one more module that I'm going to bring in. That is the hope module. Okay, the flowering of hope module. Right in the heart area for everybody. to be feeling better, less dense, I should say. <laughs> I really feel that. Is it my stomach? No, I think it's more the intest intestine. You know, yeah. Okay, checking in with everybody. How are you all doing? Good. <laughs> I'm burping, yawning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're releasing. Yes. Me good. too. I was yawning. I'm quiet now. No. no. I, I released too much at the beginning, so that it, 
One more for the bringing because I do feel all that we are doing, I feel it in the heart area. So let's bring in the category one cardiac. That's to protect you guys' heart. Because the heart. It's just above the stomach. So if you're working on the stomach, yeah, the heart will feel it too. Okay, better. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, I am done. I can't do any more. I think you guys are still processing. Everyone is okay? Yep. No headaches, no... Nothing that needs to be adjusted? I was super hot and nauseous earlier, but I'm all good now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I just want to stress one thing more that is to be mindful of your thoughts. Because your thoughts can stress you out. You don't have to lift heavy things or go hiking to stress your body. Just by your thoughts, you can stress yourself out. So just be mindful of the thoughts that take up um, real estate in your mind. I mean, sometimes we can't we can't control our thoughts because they just come in, but only entertain the ones that you want to keep around you. The rest is, it comes in, let it go. Don't serve tea and coffee to them or cookies. <laughs> Just let them go right out the door. <laughs> in one year, out the other. Because, um, I heard a lot about frustration, hopelessness, and also um, family, discord, not getting along with family, or somehow there is a lot of self-blaming. So you guys don't love yourself nearly enough as you should be. I want to say, wow, thank you for that, yeah. Um, yeah, your body is the reflection of all of your thoughts. So if you want a healthy body, then every time you realize that you're saying something that is Negative, not even negative, but something that is going to stress your body out unnecessarily, then let go. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. The only one that you have to live with 24-7, 
forever, for eternity, even after this body is gone, is you. So be okay with you. Accept yourself as who you are. No matter how good, no matter how bad you think you are. Just accept yourself just as you are. And I think that is, if you really practice that, your health and your body would improve. Everything you say resonates very well because it's almost uh, even Cornelia says all of this. It tells us all the time, be kind to your body, kind. Yeah, I know when we, we need to consciously disagree with any bad things. Last night I was taking my blood pressure and just one tiny thought went through. And <laughs> the blood pressure went it up throws like your whole system out. Just just one thought. Oh, it it was instantaneous. Like, yep. I had to stop, take a few breaths, calm down. Yeah, yeah, let it go. You, you're not here to change anyone. You're not here to, yeah, we have expectations about ourselves. However, um, by criticizing yourself or thinking that you're not enough, that you you, know, you can't do that, this, you can't do that. It does not help. Accept yourself exactly where you are. And if you want to be better, then take action. Take the next step. But only after you have accepted yourself as where you are, who you are right now. And um, if somebody says something to you that upsets you, just, just remember this. If this one word can unravel you, then um, you have to have a conversation with yourself. You're not a free person. If just one word from someone else can flip you upside down. So... No need to try to please anyone. Just do the best you can. That's all you can do every day. Each one moment at a time. I was going to say that could be our intention for the new year. I mean, everybody's saying, so what, what do you want to do for the new year? It's like, just this is plenty. <laughs> no, I don't need to have goals. I don't need to do blah blah blah. Just be kind to yourself. Yeah, we think that ascension is about raising our vibration. It's not. It's about letting go of the things that weigh us down. Because we are naturally high vibration. It's just our thoughts bring us down. just <laughs> bring us down. Yes. Wow. wow. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's just, that's, it comes with having a body is every, every thought that we entertain um, has an impact on the body. I was listening to this teacher and he said, you're already enlightened. You don't need to do anything. So all that seeking and searching, you don't need to do that. You're already there. Like you said, you need to take out the <laughs> garbage. <laughs> yeah, if only I knew that. 
<laughs> yeah easier yeah it's easy to talk about it yeah if only I knew that like 20 yeah yeah years ago <laughs> I was trying so hard to raise my vibration but it's not about that <laughs> yeah okay so any um anyone else has any comments questions feedback no. uh, are we still going back to sunday or you want saturday for meditation? i actually want saturday actually works out better because um, my brother's not around he when when he's around he's He's a nice guy, so he tries to keep it really down and tiptoe around the house on Thursday evening. Uh, he's already very uh, kind that way. I don't want to um, impose twice a week, but you know, if we can do it Saturday, then you know I can I can do whatever I want and and not have to inconvenience him for two days or two evenings. Saturday is good for me. Yeah, the Saturdays. Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch to meditation on Saturday. Okay. Thank you. Thank hey. you. In that Very case, much. thank you everybody for joining thank me. You. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. You are all yeah. still processing, so be very kind to yourself. Drink water, and think happy thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Winnie. Thank, Thank you, you everyone, you. for your beautiful energy. Right. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good night. Bye.